Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to make your makeup last all day. Specifically making your makeup last all day without powder. And I've been experimenting with just not setting my face as of recently. So I want to show you guys exactly what to do in the event that, oh, okay, you just don't feel like setting your face with powder, or let's say if you forget your powder and things like that, and it's, you know, the summer heat and all that good stuff. So if you guys wanna know how to make your makeup last even longer, then definitely keep on watching. Step number one is prep. So the biggest thing that I've noticed as far as prepping my skin for when on the days where I don't use powder at all is definitely making sure like my skincare is on point as well as my prep, just basically skincare and prep, I'm putting that all into the same section are on point. So first step is moisturizing your skin. I have the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel. I've been testing this out for the past week and I will definitely give you guys an update on how I like this moisturizer. A lot of people who have oily skin tend to not want to moisturize their skin, which is definitely not a good thing because what ends up happening is, is that your skin is going to produce more oil as the day goes on. That oil is not gonna come through because your skin is moisturized and in turn, that is going to help your makeup last longer. All right, so next I'm gonna apply the Olay Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. As you guys can tell, I already have it on my face. And I just like to do this step to make sure that my under eyes are moisturized and it has like that brightening effect. That's why I like this moisturizer. So this is an added bonus step. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I'm just going to take a kind of refreshing spray. So I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Bear With Me a setting spray and I'm going to spritz this on my face just for added hydration. The reason why I like to do that is just specifically because I have combination skin. My skin leans oily and then of course I have dry dehydrated patches here and there. So definitely, definitely, I just like to try to make sure that my skin stays as hydrated as possible so that I don't look dry or dehydrated. All right, so for the last step of the prep section, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Primer. You guys know that I absolutely love this primer. The reason why I love it the most is not only because it smooths out my skin, but it also controls my oil as well. I'm literally just going to put it on the places where I get super oily. Alrighty, so you guys are probably like, okay, like you've done all the prep stuff. Like the prep stuff honestly is the most important part, but let's get on to the foundation. Definitely use a foundation. It is better to use a foundation that is going to be more suited for your skin type. So with me having combination oily skin, um, depending on the look that I wanna go for, it definitely depends on what foundation that I'm using. Of course, if you're oily, you probably wanna use something that's a little bit more on the matte side and if you're dry you probably want to use something that's more so on the luminous side and today what I'm going to be using is the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. This surprisingly like this foundation whenever I did this combination it lasted me all day at like a really sweaty day at work. What I like to do is I like to take my MAC 159 brush and I like to start in the center of my face and I avoid my under eye area if I am wearing concealer, which I am going to show you guys today, but if I'm not wearing concealer, then I just go right under there with the same product. But also with prepping the skin, and I am stressing prepping the skin because again, like I said, prepping the skin is the most important step as far as making your foundation last. Just because if you don't have the foundation all good, then everything else is just gonna fall apart. It's basically like a house. Like if you don't have the foundation, then your house is just going to crumble. Also, this is another trick, applying your foundation in small layers. So notice like I still have a lot of product on the back of my hand and I'm just lightly building this up to the coverage that I want. I'm not taking like a whole glob of foundation and like trying to spread it out everywhere. And I personally don't like, let's, you know, a lot of people like dot foundation on their face first and then blend it out. I really don't care for that either, at least for me, 
just because I find that foundation tends to, depending on the foundation, it tends to look cakey. All right, so now the foundation is on, let's move on to concealer. So the reason why I said, again, avoid the under eye area if you are wearing concealer is because one, the less layers that you put on your face, the less likely it is that your foundation is going to basically like melt off of your face or wear away quicker or look cakey. Because the under eye area is very, very thin, your eyes are tend to, your under eyes tend to also crease a lot faster the more layers you have on your skin. So think about it like this. The more layers that you have on your skin, the more prone that you are, that your makeup is more prone to crack, crease, wear away. So you don't want to look busted at the end of the day. You still want to look nice and fresh to face. So the least amount of layers as you can do, the better. As far as concealer today, I'm going to be using my tried and true, the CoverGirl It's Lit Concealer. So what I'm going to do is use the same two shades that I always use. I really like this concealer because it gives me a nice under eye brightening effect. Now a trick for you guys who have oily skin. Now let's say if you use, like me, I use a more like hydrating luminous foundation. I would recommend that you use a more matte concealer. On, in your under eye region, especially if you're the type of person who like does like the extreme highlighting, definitely I would say use a matte concealer just so that you know you have that layer of matte protectness in the center of your face um, so that your you know everywhere else can look like nice and dewy but the center of your face stays matte for longer so that's also another trick makeup is all about a balancing act depending on what you want to do um, based on your skin type so again if you're oily and if you want to wear a dewy foundation and want to make it last all day, I would say pair it up with products that are going to help kind of balance out that dewiness that that foundation has. Whether that be a oil controlling primer, oil controlling setting spray, or an oil controlling or a matte concealer, I should say. So there's many different ways that you can make many different products work on the skin. All right, so typically this is the part where you guys see a lot of people tend to, okay, it's time to set my face with powder, whether that be loose powder or pressed powder. But again, we're going to completely skip this step. Last step that we're going to do is setting spray. So again, setting spray, it just kind of depends on what your skin type is, what kind of skin issues that you have. Um, for me, I have combination oily skin, so kind of like I can lean either or depending on the spray and depending on how I prep my skin and things like that. But if you have a straight up oily skin, I would use something like, let's say the Urban Decay All Nighter. That's a good setting spray. Or if you are someone who wants more of that dewy effect, you don't have to, I would say don't set your face at all with setting spray or you can use like a MAC Fix Plus just to kind of lock everything in. I'm just gonna spritz this on my skin. Immediately after I spritz my skin, I'm just going to literally like fan my face dry. And what this does, it helps lock everything into place. It like helps that setting spray kind of like glue to the skin almost in a way. I don't know how to describe it, but basically it locks everything in place so that it doesn't move throughout the day. All right guys, so I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. So all of everything that I put on my face is going to be down below in the description bar. So definitely check that out. But yeah guys, so that is it. Just the basics of getting your makeup uh, prepared for a long day so that it lasts a long day without powder. Again, like I said, I didn't use any uh, setting powder or face powder on my face. I did do a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blush that is powder, so be mindful of that. But as far as like face powder, setting powders, or anything like that, I didn't use any of those. So this pretty much is the look. It lasts a pretty, pretty long time. If you guys have any tips on how you make your makeup last all day without any powder then definitely leave those tips down below also guys again prep is very 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 important like it's the 
utmost important step as far as your makeup day goes because if your base is off then your face is going to be so off at the end of the day so again definitely prep is important all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed i upload every tuesday thursday as well as some sundays but yeah guys thanks for watching and i will catch you guys later in my next video Bye.